I'm going to start with the part of the book is uh, in the book and on the uh, Kelsey Okay, so I'm going to present the uh, top that next. So that next is the three, basically from that nine to that eight uh, five. Uh, the progress report, uh, I, I had to create a uh, slide uh, during the week. Uh, I'm going to correct that. Uh, 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 specification, uh, specification used to be for 
full uh, requires a bunch of the TLS uh, picture for the seven level indication uh, for the application uh, for the uh, negotiation. Uh, actually, uh, we have a full support of it in Tomcat, uh, uh, and it is considered the same as now or four days ago. Uh, we also offer uh, a tool in uh, Nevex. Uh, this is uh, typically uh, interesting if you want to do the SSL termination uh, in HTTP, for example, to make a new proxy and have uh, JTX inside uh, your network uh, of the company. Uh, actually, uh, if I put my uh, security at on and say that uh, this is not something I would advise, but a lot of people prefer to do the SSL termination. Uh, on the proxy and then have the FX going to the uh, that cluster. Uh, H2 uh, uh, requires, H2 would not be critical, it requires either uh, the native connector, either the open SSL uh, extension we have been added to uh, the uh, GSS technology. Uh, we have a server push available. Uh, it's basically what we expect is going to be in the uh, server specification, but we have been in the classes so that they are uh, not that classes because we don't want that they clash uh, to the server that's going to be available. Okay, uh, so uh, this is a kind of uh, round we have in the Tomcat community. This is not representing a uh, right. that view, uh, neither the uh, actually official uh, software foundation. Uh, the servlet uh, for whom uh, requires us to support uh, the H2 protocol. Uh, this, uh, this specification requires us to run on Java 8. Uh, unfortunately, uh, not too bad, servlet for who requires uh, H2 support. H2 support requires PLN, but Java 8 doesn't. We will be available in Java 9. We have some early testing, but it's not very clear how they're going to do it. So I mean, they change uh, in the way. So this is basically around telling that the, the uh, specification uh, are not very really synchronous with the GM specification and the kind of uh, or actually, uh, anyone can push it would be good. So, so uh, in the specification, well, uh, actually, uh, those specifications are not including uh, much of those days, so we we'll probably stay on the one we're using uh, in uh, Comcat uh, 8, uh, except uh, for the uh, summit. And uh, we have uh, the JSPIC, uh, which we uh, use uh, us to use uh, open application, for example, like we have a lot of improvement uh, in the uh, DSL support, basically, uh, we remind. Uh, most of the connector. Uh, now we're going to be able uh, uh, to support multiple user host uh, by connector uh, using the, the uh, server name and uh, identification. Uh, of course, the uh, DLS uh, configuration has been changed quite a lot. Uh, you can still use the old one, but if you need a new uh, feature, you can uh, uh, change the Uh, so uh, this is a summary uh, of uh, what we have been adding. Uh, I will check quite quickly so that we run out of time to summarize. Uh, what I want to mention is that I have a, I have a, a longer description explaining how we use the open and SSL engine into the NIO and NIO connector. Uh, so uh, I mentioned that it's, it's working. Booster, and it's automatically, uh, uh, automatically used when uh, you have the compatibility library installed. 
Uh, we've removed some feature. Uh, we've removed the old uh, working AIO connector, which uh, uh, probably not using if you're not configuring token in a special way, because they are not using, they are not used by default uh, in token D, so you should be safe. Um, there's several reasons to do that. Uh, web socket and Sabbath view uh, were already uh, requiring non blocking. Uh, emulating uh, uh, non blocking with the blocking uh, uh, API it was a challenge uh, to us to complete very complex code that uh, we were very happy to do. And you will still be connected. That's the NIO. Uh, the NIO2. Uh, NIO and NIO2 are two different uh, implementations of the UIO in the Java uh, API. Uh, NIO2 was introduced in the company. And the old uh, native connector is, of course, uh, still available, even if it requires uh, the API library and the open system. Uh, we removed Comet. Comet was a kind of an act. Uh, uh, design. Most of the users are probably with the web socket. Uh, you might be the user, so you might <laughs> complain now if you want. But we decided to remove it. Uh, there's no way we put it back. So we can have changes. That's a kind of summary. We remove the IO, we remove the socket. We remove the duplication in the two. Uh, for example, we arrange the, uh, uh, the place where we want to bring the uh, uh, the uh, one the uh, and we need to remove about half of the line of the code Java code. So uh, take care of the code, uh, and uh, we have been uh, also moving the, the code uh, in the place where it belongs. So uh, it was a quite in, an interesting version, and uh, I would feel that. And, that's a good reason why uh, you should be great with all that. Okay, it's now time to faster. Uh, we, on the web socket, uh, there might be some more stuff coming from the specification, so we might have to refactor the tool, uh, probably not that line, but we don't know yet. Uh, we have removed the system property for configuration. Uh, they just use as a default. Uh, we have changed the cookie parser. Uh, you, you know, parsing cookie is a kind of big challenge in, uh, in the web server. Uh, we had problems in the past in the Tomcat with the uh, parsing of cookies. Uh, now the cookie seems to have a kind of a geospecification for uh, we have implemented the data specification and uh, we uh, are now using it by default. You can still use the old one, uh, which uh, uh, well, is the old one. So, uh, why would you adopt that uh, equal five? Well, because basically we have implemented the new specification, but they are not finished, so we don't but we can't tell the internal specification because it is not finished. And then, uh, and the SP2 protocol is the SSL encryption for GSSC. Uh, is the TLS virtual hosting. Uh, it's also uh, just if uh, for me. So what do we do? Well, we're picking one uh, we were picking one milestone of uh, Tomcat 9 and uh, we reversed uh, the API change for the servlet and we removed the, the uh, Java 8 code. Uh, we rewrite the server push in order to do the Tomcat uh, specific API. Uh, we arrange the configurations so that it is compatible. And uh, as a reminder, uh, we were well, not re-adding uh, the comment as of the I.O. Uh, we might introduce stuff if people are running Godzilla and or 
train on the database. So uh, this is an old slide. Uh, uh, some of those old uh, slides have been given to me by uh, 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 Mark from Google. Uh, you know, we have a community, so we work for a different company, but we work for the same goal and always to promote top cats. So, uh, this is one slide from you. The frame slide, both of them are both from some of these presentation uh, because we did get back in from uh, in uh, Budapest last year. And uh, I think this is this is registered that this is going to go in the YouTube channel from top cats. So you can watch the full presentation together. Uh, so uh, the interesting thing is like uh, okay. Uh, we were saying that uh, we have a uh, at 80 and at uh, 85 for six months. Uh, we were expecting uh, to release quite often, which uh, we uh, reach, so basically we can reach uh, one release per month. And once we will have the same uh, at uh, 8.5, uh, we, we decided we will stop supporting uh, so if you have uh, the agency that you have and you can either uh, uh, get the support of the version of the volume by company like Kera, which is uh, not something which you would be going to get my management and you don't want to do that. I will have to do the work and I want to promote what is new. So uh, probably you can expect one or two versions uh, of uh, those that uh, have the uh, it's uh, we definitely need to uh, the H0. So, as uh, soon as you can start to use it, uh, because uh, we will drop the support of the old one. Do you have a question? What uh, tools or what uh, strategies do you recommend to monitor in production of content instances? Is there something inside of that you can use? Uh, no, you still use the standard tools to monitor. Uh, what do you think about having something out there? Uh, well, this is typically the work other companies are doing on top of uh, the open source project. Uh, I'm working for Red Hat. Uh, we have a plugin uh, in here. In, we will have a plugin in our cloud management tool that allows to monitor the top caps. That is what you would recommend to use. Uh, yes, or any of those tools which are existing. Thank you. Yes. On, on the, the former slide, you you show that uh, the API was uh, refunded. What 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 you what you say? Reverting, what does it mean? Uh, we, uh, well, uh, uh, in Tomcat 9, we're implementing the uh, new server specification and we take the Tomcat 9 code and make it Tomcat 8. So we have to revert all the changes we are making to the server API. In one of the Tomcat packages, you have the server API because we implement it so that you can use the server without downloading a server API from somewhere else. Plus, this has some implication in the internal code, so we also do those implications. Okay. That's the question. With retro compatibility with the with the four version, there is no compatibility. Uh, of course, the, the compatibility uh, when we deliver a version of Tomcat or version number is uh, corresponding to a GE implementation, so we can't. Really we can't do it on CAT9 uh, with, uh, without having uh, the complete specification. Okay. So this is why we go back to the 3.1. And it, it, it got no issue because uh, Tomcat 9 was never released as stable and then uh, Tomcat uh, 8.0 is using uh, the 3.1. So basically you can use the uh, uh, 8. The 8.5 uh, uh, immediately. Uh, you don't need to do anything on your web app. That's that's why we do something like that. Okay. 
there is uh, for, for one there is many threat in the in, in Tomcat. It's a question comparing with uh, a page HTTP. Well, it's two different uh, model. Uh, in HTTP, you have so many thread models that you can speak about really a thread. You have a multi-fork and a multi thread yeah, we have a Java data mesh, so we use fast uh, Java uh, training model. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, so now I'm going to speak about uh, those, those are uh, started from my slide of uh, the uh, Apache code. Uh, this is a, a, a H2 presentation part. So you will know, have seen H2 in, uh, in some of the slides of the other people. So here you have uh, a more technical uh, explanation of what it is. So why H2? Well, basically, the old specification, as you believe, what you want, uh, is quite old. Uh, at that time, uh, I, I had a, uh, a huge server at home, which was uh, yeah, selling a 1K page. Uh, nowadays, uh, a simple web page is uh, going to be uh, 3 megabytes of HTML plus image, plus uh, CSS, uh, plus CSS, plus a lot of stuff. What happens when you request a page for a browser is that the browser is going to browse the page, so it can an analyze the code of the page, and it's going to with a new connection to get the image, a new connection to get the, GS, the JavaScript, a new connection to make the access. Uh, so what happens is like, if your server is not allowed, it's going to work perfectly. Great, you make it demo, wonderful. If you start to move your server a bit away, which is then adding the latency, so you just go from this room to the next room, you're going to have latency for each Requests, the latency is like basically you open the socket, you send the request, and it comes back, but it does not come back from here, it comes back from a bit far away. So the farther you go, the worse it goes. And with all the clouds, you don't know where those, where the box you are accessing is. People come to put, uh, to make some very clever, uh, Geographic analysis depending on your IP address, which they screen from them. So basically, if you're using the old protocol to run the page, it's going to take a lot of time. I have a small demo where I have a server running in Switzerland. It's not too far away. Uh, and there's a big difference. I can show you the demo now. So this is why we will use the H2. Uh, I, I'm sure it will be fail, but so uh, I, the problem I can see what I'm So I've cheated a bit before doing the presentation I was doing. So this is the end result, but I will uh, refresh the page. So uh, this is the standard corrector. This is uh, using HTTP uh, one uh, one. It makes the request. It's a stupid. Uh, Page with a plenty of images, they are all different, so uh, the browser is going to make something like a, uh, eight or open and uh, a lot of requests. It's, uh, it's going to open a bunch of sockets, it's going to make a bunch of requests in the socket, but at the end, to display the page, it's going to, well, it's not realistic, really so this is going to take something like around 20 seconds. If you do it, the server is running, so uh, don't, if you copy the URL, don't crack it in the URL. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, this is the same, so it's the same server, the same Tomcat, it's just that uh, I've configured the open protocol, and uh, I have uh, the same, it's the same page. So the page is available and the image are all available somewhere. Uh, I'm going to pick the demo and I'm going to pick refresh so that you see that it's, it's really the case. And then the, so this is probably why we failed. So I'm going to uh, refresh again, shift refresh, right? I need to do something. You don't 
of a oh, yeah. you don't have flush the, the cache. Yes, we So we are uh, sending the page. You can see take one. This is uh, using uh, the group. And it's a bit faster to page. Uh, this table we look at all depends on the other phase of measurability because that all depends also the time of the browser to run the page. So let's try this one. And it stops the browser using apparently. So I did it before I come in the room to show you the result, but uh, I'm sorry. Okay, back to the presentation. Uh, Find fun when we do it, the refreshing of the page is probably enough. Do it again, please. Sorry? Just do it again. I can do that. Uh, it's in the it, 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 it stop. Uh, I'll try again later, or we can do it. Uh, it worked before entering the room, so it must be working somehow. Okay. So we don't demo effect. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, the, uh, the demo server has a standard certificate, so if someone has a browser, I can try it on its own later. Uh, that uh, should work. I will need it uh, online for a while so that you can play with it. So you see, uh, the big interest is the latency. Uh, that's going, H2 is going, is allowing the browser uh, to do the things a lot better. So uh, in general, uh, it's binary protocol. It uses frame, it allows to multiplex. It's based on speedy. This is also why you consider that speedy is something which is dead because it's replaced. It requires DNS everywhere. So uh, the things that uh, uh, prevent to use a forward proxy, forward proxy might be an issue for countries that uh, have the right to the same in internet. When you use big forward proxy, you make sure that you use the right page. And the clear text issue is uh, all purpose uh, only made uh, for reverse proxy. Uh, you can't get it working uh, on the browser, it has been uh, uh, removed uh, uh, from the code of uh, Firefox and that for uh, all of those. It could be a good challenge if you want to debug something because you don't have the real text and then uh, you get a, a some unencrypted frame that you would need to decrypt. So uh, in, in debugging these things is a kind of a challenge because uh, basically you need to know what to plug. Uh, you see, you need to do a bit uh, somewhere in the after the SSL uh, Okay, so it's based on two specifications. It's really uh, specified by the Internet Task Force, so the Internet Task Force. So uh, this is an example, this is one socket. And in this socket, we, you're going to be able to pass a uh, uh, request, for example, uh, a get, uh, a post. And you can have a push uh, uh, happening exactly at the same time. All that stuff in one socket, all, the, all that stuff does not require to open the socket, all that stuff allows to reduce the latency, especially this one, but, but because basically you, you're, going, you're going to be on your server, you know which page you're going to send, uh, then you are able, uh, this is not what I'm doing again, but uh, you can do that very easily with the push uh, server. You can pass your page and know what you need to send. And then basically, uh, you send first uh, the image you know the user is going to see. And then you send the rest of the page. So when it is made on the browser, uh, the user will have the page that appears that immediately. Uh, when with browser, uh, the 
browser uh, have been ready since a long time, but we know that there's uh, still people using an old, old version of Internet Explorer and an old, old version of Windows, uh, like uh, in Apple, so in Paris. Uh, 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 okay, basically, uh, um, I, I am uh, in the, uh, being, uh, being in, in, in uh, help, uh, been helping in moving uh, and incubating the traffic server. So I have some special relations with people in Yahoo. Uh, so in Yahoo, uh, so I can only allow to use the information on the slide. Uh, half of the uh, half of the traffic in Yahoo is already done uh, using uh, H2 protocol. So I understand the people of Yahoo that keep you this information. I mean, you don't have to be a person. So uh, now I'm going, to, I'm going to show what is it internally. Uh, so this is the application uh, uh, layer protocol negotiation. Uh, this is uh, basically a one track uh, um, capture of the connection. Uh, so you, this is clear text. You can analyze it, and then you see that the browser is uh, proposing all the protocol is supporting. Uh, of course, uh, we have the basic of this one. Uh, it still supports this one, but not a lot of people are using it now. Really. And this is the one. Thank you for The server is going to answer, uh, telling which uh, protocol is supporting. In our case, we want it to support it. It's a, it's a protocol which transport another protocol? I think this is the uh, TLS uh, client server uh, dialog. So when, you, when you've got the TLS connection, the first, thing, uh, the first message that is sent is the client which describes what he is able to do and which certificate he wants which OC you, you want to connect to. And the server has to respond uh, by which protocol is supporting and by a certificate if you require a certificate. So, uh, how do we configure that in Tomcat? So basically, we've got touch to see, here yeah, we have if you want to make a break, you have to tell the token that you uh, want to support a great protocol. You want, you need to tell him you want the H2 protocol. You can use that for the uh, the uh, medical APR uh, connector. You can also use uh, that for the normal connector. You see, this is going to take the default in this case. In our case, it's going to be uh, the NIO one. Uh, you can also make a text. This is an example from an as a demo uh, I've been doing uh, with uh, on proxy, where uh, basically uh, you can use uh, HTTP to make a HTTP, uh, HTTP server to make a SSL termination, and then you can use your text uh, on top directly. Uh, you need to configure a bit in top uh, you need to have the uh, LDR repassed set to the right value so that you can find the library. And you need a quite recent version of uh, open uh, Basically, you need a uh, 102C menu. Uh, don't use 102C in the way because it's, uh, in, uh, you know, it's crypto, so you need to use the latest. Um, so my question is that, like, okay, uh, we've said that we have a new protocol, uh, we're going to multiplex on the socket. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, this means uh, we're going to uh, add some overload uh, on, the, on the processor and then uh, I have done the load test uh, to check uh, whether this was acceptable or not. Uh, so in the uh, in blue, uh, you have a GCC, uh, and uh, the NIO uh, uh, connector, uh, which is using, uh, of course, the OpenSSL uh, accelerator, which I'm going to speak a little bit of uh, uh, later. And uh, you see, we are, this, is a, this is the test, which is the worst we can do uh, to, uh, to the protocol, because uh, 
for sending just sending the file. And um, on there, you can see that there's no big difference in performance uh, when uh, you use uh, uh, mesh, uh, run or mesh. So uh, if you look to the CPU, you see also that there's no difference. We expect uh, that it's going to go so good, but that's not very significant. So a small demo, uh, which is using uh, local host and which is already prepared, I will show uh, basically how because the good thing is that this kind of thing you can test uh, on the you just not on Tomcat and you can test on the wall, you just need to generate the and that it gets it's quite easy when it's uh, not really also unnecessary. Uh, so basically what I was doing I was creating uh, uh, two certificates, uh, one uh, for local for local1.com, one for local2.com. I put my uh, DC host and I say that the local host is uh, also uh, local1.com uh, uh, local and local2.com and then I expect the SNI to show me the price of the city. So I'm not going to try this one, I'm just going to show the result. So, uh, so this is uh, already the top uh, So uh, this is local host, local one, which is uh, in fact local host. And the next part is uh, local two, which is also local host as an IP address. And you can see the, this IP address certificate. And if you look at the certificate, uh, I need a lot of marks. So you see it's a bit, then you can put in the certificate. It's not issued by a supervisor. It's not issued by CAA? Yeah, I mean, I have, I have my own uh, CAA on the, on the box. Yeah. I will copy the key infrastructure for demos, uh, uh, which you generate is the using of the necessary. You just need to import the root certificate of my host. My other demo is using a real certificate. So, but if you want to do the demo like that, then I can send you the instruction. That's no problem. It's, very easy. it's uh, 20 lines of command using. Uh, because basically uh, 
is looking at your connector, you got uh, one credit card request, uh, which does not scale. Uh, you could talk of the people seeing, uh, yeah, you see that you know now the best way to work if you have only one credit, which is not too easy. So, uh, um, we can use that better. So, uh, the new uh, new necessary implementation is fast. Even faster than the uh, native uh, connector. I use only OpenSL to uh, the native. Uh, use only OpenSL as a native, so you don't need that there anymore. But you still need it, but uh, you can use it if you don't use it. So you basically use OpenSL to label the uh, uh, SSL DLS layer, basically the graph, the graph. The handshake and all the things like that. Yeah. So, uh, uh, this is all that work was based on Monday. We noticed that the AT uh, people have a packet of uh, some packet issue with the GCC. So, the data guys were forced into uh, some new implementation uh, and they were forking a new automated data. So we get in contact with the guy and say, hey, guys, you fork, 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 we fork it again. So we fork that again, and um, I'm making project with a student, so uh, I'm a student so with the daily uh, 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 thing, and if you go to the university, so I get some students that have been uh, working to make a semester on the project, making a prototype, and this prototype has been included in Docker. And uh, we improved the stuff. Uh, we got the start, it's what I've been improved since last time I was presenting this thing in Europe. Uh, the SSL configuration is all completely compatible with the GCC one. So you don't need to care about this uh, complex uh, open SSL thing. You just use uh, uh, the T2 from Java, create your certificate, and done. You get the SSL. Uh, it pre it use only the SSL BIO. Uh, the SSL BIO is part of the open SSL logic, uh, where basically uh, uh, there's a you have different kinds of BIO. You have CIO which are associated with the socket, but you have then a BIO which is just a input BIO just a And we use that to all the uh, CLS. Uh, it's, uh, if you use the latest Tomcat that have been released, and uh, if you have the distribution which is up to date, you might be using it without even noticing it. Uh, going to jump over that slide. Uh, this is a summary of all the, how all the connectors are working. Uh, basically, uh, you have two way of doing this. You do uh, the contract, either you go to the uh, API connector, either you go to a GSC connector, which could block the uh, open SSL implementation, the, or the uh, GSC energy. Again, all those things are going to end up using the uh, uh, socket implementation uh, in the UC, but uh, that's. So how does it work? Uh, basically, uh, uh, we do have a SSL context, and in this SSL context, you can uh, uh, understand the uh, GSSL SSL context or the SSL context. When you make create a uh, SSL engine, in one time you're going to create a standard uh, SSL engine, and you will get this way to create a uh, open SSL engine. And the open SSL engine is basically overriding the rack, we brought the get session and at least all the working sacrifice some people. Okay, so this is three uh, low level uh, uh, drawings. Uh, the very part is just a piece of memory of uh, open SSL. Uh, uh, this is an example of uh, old graph of the work. But you could find out the other uh, code will work just in the code if you want or uh, in the implementation. So basically what is uh, what is the 
going to uh, receive bad text and then it's going to uh, uh, use young uh, text uh, given by the system. You write the internal PIO and the network PIO, which is associated to it, is going to give you a configuration. All the work is done by the SSL engine. I mean, all the number branching, which is not very common in Java, even if you use the just in time compiler, is going to provide something written by specialist of uh, crypto codes, which are the end of the SSL guys, which uh, they spend some time uh, making sure that the C code is that is there. Is
This was just an kind of a joke, but it's really gotten like that, like it's open to food. So it's a computer, they take it from Gator, they call it, and then at some point we still need that to be We don't, uh, next speaker is going to be 